In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for FeSO4 plus NaOH. This is iron 2 sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I can see that I have two sodium atoms here and one here. I'm going to put a 2 in front of the NaOH. That balances the sodium atoms. I have two hydroxide ions, so those are balanced on both sides. Then I have a sulfate here and an iron here. So those are balanced as well. So this is the balanced molecular equation for FeSO4 plus NaOH. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So sulfates in general are soluble. That means they'll dissolve in water, dissociate a part into their ions. Little AQ after that. You could look that up on a solubility table if you needed to. Sodium hydroxide, strong base, and sodium compounds are soluble too. That's going to dissociate. Hydroxides in general, with the exception of sodium, potassium, and a few others, they're insoluble. That means they don't dissolve in water. Iron hydroxide, iron 2 hydroxide, I should say, that's going to be insoluble. Because of that, it's going to be a solid. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube when these two substances react in a precipitation reaction. Sodium compounds and sulfates are soluble, so we have an AQ. These are the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So the sulfate ion here is the whole thing 2 minus. Good one to remember. So the iron, which is a transition metal, it has to be 2 plus. So we have the iron 2 ion, and I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. Plus the sulfate ion. Sodium's in group 1, the whole hydroxide ion, 1 minus. So I have two sodium ions and two hydroxide ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so we're just going to keep that as FeOH2. That'll be a solid. And then we said positive, this whole thing here, the sulfate ion, 2 minus. Two sodium ions, just like in the reactants. And then we have the sulfate ion. Let's put that down here. These are the products. So at this point, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. I can see in the reactants here, I have this sulfate ion. And in the products, we can cross that out. Two sodium ions in the reactants. And then in the products here, we have two sodium ions. We can get rid of those. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for iron 2 sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. Let me clean this up, add the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for FeSO4 plus NaOH. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus here, 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. So the net charge is 0 here. This is a neutral compound net charge of 0. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for iron 2 sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.